टू यू आल मै डर स्टूडें हव आर् यू आल ई हॉप यू आर आल फाइन अंड सेफ इज इट गुड नौ ई विल सो द होम वर्क रिव्यू जस्ट वेरीफ युवर आंसर ओके क्वेश्चन फाइंड द हेच सी एफ ऑफ तौस फाइव हंड्रेड अंड सेवेंटी फाइव तौस फिफ्टी अंड टू टू तौस हंड्रेड नौ वि कैन यूसी प्रईम फैक्ट्रिशन मेथड वि कैन फाइंड द प्रईम फैक्टर्स Now we got prime factors of thousand five hundred and seventy five is equal to three into three into five into five into seven. Then thousand fifty is equal to two into three into five into five into seven. Two thousand hundred equal to two into two into three into five into five into seven. Therefore, the product of common factors equal to three into five into five into seven equal to five hundred and twenty five. So the HCF of thousand five hundred and seventy-five, thousand and fifty, and two thousand hundred is five hundred and twenty-five is the answer. Okay. Last class we are learned prime factorization method for finding the HCF, isn't it? That is highest common factor, isn't it? Today we are going to study about long division method for finding HCF. Okay. Long division method. Last class we have learned uh, prime factorization method finding the HCF, isn't it? Now, on example, find the HCF of eleven thousand eighty eight and seven thousand nine hundred and twenty. Now, step one, divide the bigger number by the smaller number and find the remainder. Now, listen. You can compare these two number. Which is the bigger number? Eleven thousand eighty-eight, isn't it? This number divided by the smaller number, seven thousand nine hundred and twenty. Eleven thousand and eighty divided by seven thousand nine hundred and twenty. Only one time, so seven thousand nine hundred and twenty. We can subtract. We can subtract. Uh, what's the remainder? Three thousand hundred and sixty-eight. Okay, we can choose the bigger number divided by smaller number. We will get one new remainder. You see, this is the first step. Then second step, take the remainder as the new divisor. This remainder is the new divisor, and the old um, and the old divisor. Old divisor is the seven thousand nine hundred and twenty. Old divisor. As the new dividend. Okay, now we can compare this two number. Dividend is a new divisor. Remainder is the new dividend. Okay, so seven thousand nine hundred and twenty divided by three thousand hundred and sixty. Okay, this is two times six thousand three hundred and thirty-six. Now we can subtract thousand five hundred and eighty-four. Okay, now we can continue with this remainder. Till the zero. Okay. Then step three. Continue with step two. Already we learned step two, isn't it? Continue with step two till the remainder is zero. Till the remainder is zero, we can continue with step two. The last divisor is the divisor for the two numbers. Now here, uh, step two, we got the remainder is. Thousand five hundred and eighty-four. That is the new divisor, isn't it? Then world divided is the divisor, isn't it? World divided is the divisor. So we can now thousand five hundred and eighty-four two times three thousand hundred and sixty-eight. Now we got remainder zero. So the HCF of eleven thousand eighty-eight and seven thousand nine hundred and twenty is thousand five hundred and eighty. Okay. Step three. Continue the step with step two. We can continue with step two till the remainder zero. Okay. The last divisor is the HCF of the two numbers. Which is the divisor? This is divisor. This is dividend. The last divisor is when we will get the remainder zero. That that divisor is the HCF of the two numbers. Okay, now the last divisor is the last divisor is, isn't it? Step two, we got the divisor is three thousand hundred and sixty-eight. That is the new dividend. 
then remainder is 1584 that is the dividend now we can uh, multiply this is two times we will get 3168 now we can subtract zero now we get remainder zero so the hcf of 11088 and 7920 is 1584 okay Exercise 4.2 find the HCF of the following using the cross division method. Number 1, 108 and 96. Now listen, here which is the bigger number? 108. So 108 is the dividend, then smaller number is 96. 96 is the divisor. Now we have 96 one time, isn't it? 2 times means. 2 to the 4, 90 to 18, 184 is more than 108, isn't it? So we can take only one time. 196 is 96. Okay. Now here, here we can take borrow. Here no need to take borrow, isn't it? 8 minus 6 is 2. 8 minus 6 is 2. Now here, here we can take borrow. Here 10, here 0, isn't it? Now 10 minus 1, 1, 9 is 1. Now here, 12 is reminder, 96 is divisor, isn't it? Now this is the step 2, step 1, isn't it? Step 1, we didn't get remainder 0. So we can continue, okay? Now here, remainder is the new divisor. Step 2, remainder is the new divisor. Then old divide, divisor is the new dividend. Okay, now 12 table 8 times 8 12 are 8 12 are 96. So we can write 8 12 are 96. 96 minus 96 0. Now we got remainder 0. So we can stop. Now we are last divisor is 12. So thus the HCF of, now we can write thus the HCF of 108 and 96 is what? 12. Okay. 12 is the HCF. Are you clear? Okay. Then next question. 3528 and 3969. Now here which is uh, bigger number? Which is bigger number? 3969. 3969. That is the divided. Then smaller, smaller number is 3528. This is the divisor. Now here 3528, 3969. Now here only one time, isn't it? Two times means more than 3969. So we can take only one time, 3528. Okay, 9 minus 8 is 1. 6 minus 2 is 4. 9 minus 5 is 4. Now remainder 441. Then we can write step 2. 441 is the new divisor. Now that old divisor is the new dividend. Okay. 3528. Now listen. 441. 441. Uh, how many times? Uh, we can check 8 times. 441. Uh, 5, 6, or 8 times means. 1 into 8, 8. 8 fours are 32. 2, 3 balance. 8 fours are 32 plus 3, 35. 3528. So we can write here 8, 3528. Remainder 0. Now we can stop. What is the last divisor? 441. Thus we can write, thus the HCL for, what are the numbers? 3528 and 3969 is what's the next year? 441 is the next year. Are you clear? Third question 3780, 5040, and 4725. Here three numbers, isn't it? Now we can write step 1. We can stay, we can take first two numbers. Okay, this is the step one. Okay, first two numbers. Okay, 
Now find the HCF of, we can write, find the HCF of, what are the numbers? First two numbers, 3780 and 5040. We can find the HCF of 3780 and 5040. Okay. Now here, which is this bigger number? 5000. 40 divided by then smaller number is 3780. 3780 only one time 3780. Two times means uh, above 5000. This is 5040. So we can't take. Now we can subtract 0. Here to here take bar of 14. 14 minus 8. 14 minus 8 is 6, isn't it? Yes. Now here uh, 10, then 9, isn't it? So, 9 minus 7 is 2. Now, here 4 minus 1 is, 4 minus 3 is 1. 1260. Then, we can continue. This remainder is the next step, isn't it? Step 2, remainder is the new divisor. Old divisor is the new dividend. Okay. So, 3780. Now, 1,260, 2,160, here 3,780, isn't it? Now, we can say 3 times 260, 3 times 0, 6, 3 are 80, 1 balance, 3, 2 are 6 plus 1, 7, 1 into 3, 3, 3,780, 3 times, isn't it? Now, here 3 times 3,780, now we, got, we, we get, remainder is, Zero. So we can start. What is the HCF of? Therefore, HCF of these two numbers, isn't it? 3780 and 5040 is, which is the last divisor? 1260. Okay. This is the first. Okay. Then say now first two numbers. Isn't it? Find the HCF of these two numbers. Then we can take. Uh, third number, isn't it? We have one more third number. Is one more number is there? Now we can find the HCF of this last divisor. Okay. Now we the, now we can find find the HCF of HCF of here this HCF of this two number is thousand two hundred and sixty. So thousand two hundred and sixty and the third number four thousand. 725. Are you clear? First, we want to find the HCF of first two numbers. Then, we will get one HCF. One number is there, isn't it? That is the HCF of that two numbers. That HCF and the third number. Find the HCF of that number and the third number. Okay. Now, here, which is the bigger number? 4725. Now, here, this is small number. So, 1260. Okay. Now, we can write 1260. How many times? 3 times means 0. 6 3s are 80. 1 balance. 3 2s are 6 plus 1 7. 3. 3780. Isn't it? 3780. 4 times means 60 into 4. 0, 6 4 are 24, 2 balance, 4 2 are 8 plus 2 10, 1 balance, 5, 5040. But here 4725, so we can take this one 3 times, isn't it? So we can't take this 3 times 3780. Now we can subtract it, 5, here to here take borrow, so, so 12 minus 8 is 4, now here 16, 16 minus 7 is 9. 900, here 3 minus 3 is 0. So, 945. Isn't it? This is the step 3. Isn't it? Already we completed. We have completed step 2. Then this is the step 3. Then step 4. Now, here this is the remainder. That is the new divisor. Then old divisor is the new divider. 1260. Okay. Now, here 9000. 445, isn't it? Here 45. Uh, 945 is 2 times means 5 to 10, 1 balance, 4 to 8 plus 9, 9 to 14, 1490. 
But here 1260. So we can we can't take this two times only one time 945. Okay. Now here here to take borrow 10. Here 5. Now 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 minus 4 is 1. Now here 12. 12 minus 9 is 3. Isn't it? 315. Now next one more step. Step 5 is equal to 5. Now here remainder is the new divisor. 315. Now the voltage divisor is the new divider. So 315. Now 315 we can say 3 times. 5 3 is 15. 1 balance. 1 into 3. 3. 3 plus 1. 4. 3 3 is 9. 945. 3 times. Okay. So 945. 3 times. Remainder is 0. Now we can stop. Now we get the last divisor is 315. So the axiom of this 3 number is 315. Okay. So we can write thus. Axiom of what are the numbers? Uh, 3700 and 3780. Then 5014 and now 4725, 4725 is, which is an HCF? 315. 315 is the HCF. Clear? Find the greatest number that divides 1470 and 1890 exactly without leaving any remainder. Now we... No need to leave any remainder from these numbers. Okay. Now we can greatest number. Find the greatest means. HCF is the highest common divisor. Okay. Highest common. The greatest means highest common divisor. HCF. Okay. We can find the HCF. Okay. Now here I find the HCF of. Find the HCF of. 1470 and 1890. Now we can use long division method or prime factorization method. We can uh, choose any one method. Okay. Now here we can use long division method which is the big number 1890 which is the small number 1470. Now get 1470 only one time. Two times means more than 8,000. Sorry, 1890, isn't it? So we can take only one time. 1470. Now 0 minus 0, 0. 9 minus 7, 2. 8 minus 4, 4. This is the step 1. Okay. Then step 2. Remainder is the new divisor. Old divisor is the new divider. 1470. Now 420. How many times? 420. Uh, 4, 2, 0. 3 times means 0, 6, 12. 1260. Isn't it? 1000 to 3 times. 4 times means more than 1470. So we can't take 3 times 1260. 60. Now 0, 7 minus 6 is 1, 4 minus 2 is 2. Now here your remainder is 220. Then we can continue step 3. Okay. Now here the 210 is the new divisor. Then what divisor is 420, 420. Now here 210 2 times means 210 2 times. 1 into 2, 2 2 is 420. So we can write 2 times 420. Remainder is 0. Now we get remainder 0. So we can stop. The last divisor is the HCF. That is 210. So we can write thus the HCF of uh, 1470 and 1890 is 210. Okay. What is the greatest number that divides 1803 and 
2028 leaving a remainder of 3 in each case okay we can uh, leave from this number leave 3 okay now here solution as 3 is the remainder of in each case 3 is the remainder of in each case okay so we can subtract 1803 minus 3 okay then 2028 minus 3 Okay. Now these two numbers, thousand two eight hundred three and two thousand twenty eight is is not perfect square. Okay. These two numbers are not perfect square. So we can uh, subtract from this number three. Then we will get two numbers. These two numbers are perfect square. Okay. Now we can find the KCF. So thousand eight hundred three minus three is equal to thousand eight hundred. Two thousand and twenty-eight minus three is equal to two thousand twenty-five. Okay. Now we can find the HCF form. The HCF form. What are the numbers? Thousand eight hundred and two thousand twenty-five. Now here we can use long division method or prime factorization method. Now we can use here prime factorization. I am using. Prime factorization method. Okay. Now here two table nine two are eighty zero zero. Then again two table four two are eight five two are ten. Is it right? Here two here take zero. Here now four two are eight remaining one ten five two are ten then zero. Then next ten two 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 are four again two two are four one balance ten five two are ten. Then Ah, uh, three table seven three sa twenty one five three sa fourteen. Again three table three two sa six five three sa fourteen. Then five table is it? Five table seven five sa thirty five. Okay. Now here next two thousand twenty five. Now here ah uh, three table six three sa eighteen seven three sa twenty one five three sa Fourteen. Then again three table two three sa six two three sa six one balance fourteen five three sa fourteen. Then three table seven three sa twenty one five three sa fourteen. Again three table two three sa six uh, one balance fourteen five three sa fourteen. Then five table five five sa fourteen. Then five table one ten. Here we got one mistake, isn't it? Three table two three sa six, isn't it? Here three table two three sa six one balance five three sa fifteen. Then five table five five sa fifteen. Then again five table one. Okay. Now, now we can write the prime factorisation. Prime factors of Thousand eight hundred equal to what are the prime factors? Two, two, three times two into two into two, then three two times three into three, then five also two times. Then what are the prime factors of two thousand twenty five? Two thousand twenty five equal to three four times. Okay, three into three into three into three. Into three Four times, then five two times. Now we can write the product of the product of the common factors. Okay, product of the common factors equal to what are the common factors? Here three and three common, three and three common, five and five common, again five common. Here no common numbers. So we can uh, multiply these common factors three into three into five into five three into three into five into five. Okay. Now we have three three is a nine nine five is a forty five forty five into five 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 is a twenty five two five four is a twenty plus two twenty two two hundred and twenty five is the HCF of thousand eight hundred and two thousand twenty five. Okay. Clear. Today's homework book page number forty three. 
Exercise 4.2, question number 2, 9th question and question number 6. 2 questions, homework. Okay, we can continue next class. Thank you.